Offset come out. He says that uh, Shake Club Shay Shay interview. He said that Migos is the second best rap group or third best rap group behind Outkast. Um, I think he said the second. Second best rap group behind Outkast. How you feel a, about man, it? Man, they got a long list to go. Man, the I, Migos ain't nowhere near that. Me, yeah, me personally, I'm like, <laughs> you got Mob Deep, you got you got a Tribe Called Quest, you got. Who else? You, nah, got you got G-Unit, Outcast, you, you got, got Wu-Tang, G-Unit. you got we count Outcast, you got the Locks. You got the exact, I was going to say the Locks. You, you got, got West Side Connection. Yeah. You got Dog Pound. Man, come on, 213, man. like, that's low-key, damn near disrespectful to You got Dipset, you got all these dip niggas set. Set. Yeah, I'm man. talking about real Groups. street, <laughs> not even just street, movements that shifted the culture. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Migos. Because oh, yeah, all the yeah. new all the new rappers do take their swag and do take their sound. Migos, but to say you the greatest ever is crazy. Migos, Bro, you got a long way to go. Migos make good music. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to be listening to Migos in 10 years. I'm not going to be remembering <laughs> none of their songs, let alone in six months. I think I know a couple songs. They make good, hot music for that moment, for sure. But I don't know nothing that they ever said that was just... Strictly crazy, deep dude. or barred up to me. Like, I feel bad. Do bro. they have a classic <laughs> album? Or a classic song, not something that was catchy and a hit. I mean, like you said, in ten years, we turned it like they turned that Migos on. If we had like, depending on where we at, though, right? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying like when they you think of know, Dipset, period, you diplomatic can... community. You think of G Unit, beg for mercy. You think okay, of Outkast, yeah, yeah. the list goes on. You think of the Locks, the list goes on. What album are we stamping? Like this was a certified classic in the culture for them to be able to say some shit like this. Yeah, none. I mean, they don't have a classic album. The only album that went crazy was Young Rich Niggas. But it wasn't a it's not a classic, I mean, compared to the other albums. Can you name me the what what was the hot song on that album? Uh you had like you had Hannah Montana. What else you had on there? You had Hannah Montana. You gonna You had uh <laughs> You had can you give me a bar off of that? No, I'm not saying I'm again I'm not saying this I'm not saying it's No, I'm not saying it's bars at all, but I'm saying like at that time for what was going on. Young Rich Niggas was, was for sure one of the hottest albums out. That's Atlanta was taking over right nah, there. Cause I'm then in a couple no. years it was thug. Everything they drop for their moments, yeah, they, be, they be hot, is what I'm saying. They're yeah. not I'm not They're taking not classic, that no, though. I'm not taking no. nothing away from that. But yeah, but to say you're top two, it's just not at all. It's all speculation. They do they want they want to get they know they're not top Migos two. Migos over Wu Tang is crazy, gang. Yeah, nah. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say over Wu Tang. I Y'all say over Wu Tang? Over who? Because if you saying two, you saying you're over Wu Tang, because Outcast was listed in name. As the greatest group of yeah. all time. And they definitely not over Outcast for me. So you for, for sure. sure ain't over Outcast. And like I said, you got What was what was J J and M group? The State, Rock? Uh, 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 State Property? Yeah. Well now you could take the, Rockefeller yeah. as low. Well that now it's a label. It would be yeah. State Property. But Look. yeah, State Prop, I don't know. You had Beanie Siegel and you had Freeway. I wasn't really fucking with too many Yeah, Jay was in there too. Other people from State that. Prop. Yeah. But we're saying the greatest. Ever. This means the throughout the whole history of hip hop. It's too early to say that. Nah, that's a fact. It's no, I'm, too I'm, early. I'm just looking at that that album. That shit was crazy back then. Nah, that's too early. It don't matter if they name three songs. It don't matter if they go fifty I'm more fine. years. There's Hold on, name three be. songs without looking at that motherfucker. Yeah. Well yeah, this shit was from 2013. He said name three songs without looking at it. Like like if somebody named okay, that what's the name Any of the Any group album? I argue about, I'm gonna better name songs. Yeah. I mean, from this one, you got Hannah Montana. Shit, you got Bando. You got Adios. Nigga, you're looking you at the Chinatown phone. You got Chinatown. Because I'm saying, I'm not going to remember the songs off the top of my this dome. This is what I'm telling you. Any, If I go through Beg for Mercy right now, yeah. I can name tracks without... But you coming from a time where I don't think niggas now is like, I'm not looking at tracks and remembering tracks. I'm you're just streaming it. Yeah, it's it don't, it don't, that's my point. Because I'm if... Even if it's not the point, any of these albums I listen to, yeah. I'm gonna listen to more than once to the point where I know these albums. I know any classic album, I know songs. It don't matter. No co- anybody knows songs. You can name songs off Get Rich or Die Trying right now. Any classic albums you're gonna name, that's why it's a classic, because that shit was hot. Like you're not gonna know no classic albums without knowing those songs off of no, it. At least I, my, I think that's a fact. At least you, my, my at mind. least one one or two you're gonna know. Like Diplomatic Community, I'm sure you can name two songs off of it. I'm not saying it's a classic. I'm just saying at the time. I see why they're saying what they're saying because that's how they feel. Only because of the what they received, the the backlash they received for how they was. Because at a time, niggas thought they could do no wrong. At least from where I was at, and how when the Migos dropped and what they did, and then they had to collab with Drake, and then it just influenced a lot of other artists. And it seemed like Atlanta was super buzzing for the younger kids. I think so. 
That's how it felt. Okay, let I, me don't, ask I, you don't, this. I don't fault so, them. So, I don't fault them. I wouldn't even be mad if they said they was a number yeah, one group. That, you should feel that way I, as an artist, as a musician. But realistically, we know they're not. They're not. They're, they're, they're not, not the number one five. group ever. Yeah. Okay, not even on no hate shit. They're not. When I think of greatest, I think of impact. Mm -hmm. So, outside of Atlanta, what impact did the Migos have? Like we stamped, like oh no, that's Migos. Like because is it the Migos sound or is that the Atlanta sound? Um, you have a point, but I mean they're the ones that that made it pop. Made what? Did pop? They? They, the, they? They cracked before the, Young the, Thug. The uh, yeah, they they cracked before Young they Thug. They cracked before Young so Thug. So they cracked before Thug. Thug comes around in like 2016, 17. You get what I'm saying around there? 2015, too. They all but around they, the same time. They, they was already there. Thug came. So they came before everybody. That's why they said the, uh, mumble rapper shit. I think because they were the first people who kind of like were mumble rappers. They were saying mumble rap before them niggas. Before Migos? I, I want to say Because that's was. 2013. What I'm saying that's a minute that? ago. You got to think about it. At that point, Pusha T just dropped that one album with uh, numbers on the board. So it was still like a lot of rap rap going on. No, nah, I think they started talking the about mumble rap when the Laffy Taffy shit hit. Damn, for real? Wait, Laffy nah, Taffy. They, 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 they weren't going that far. Nah, 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 Laffy uh, Taffy. It was, still rap, it was still real rap back then. But yeah. the only difference, what I'm saying is, um, Migos do have a unique sound. You know their style. The first thing I heard that was hot from them that made them hot when I heard Drake on Versace. With every year that yeah. came out, um, that Versace, Versace, Versace. And when that came out, then I'm like, okay, that's some new niggas, whatever the case is. But um, I don't really see them. I don't really see them. I can't say like no, just bar for bar. They they make party music to me. Like that's, that's what a you, fact. That's what you play like when you want to turn up or you got some females around. You know what I'm saying? And they want to turn up and y'all in the car, y'all at the y'all at a party. You turn some amigos on. So I don't really see them as a. When I think of rap groups, I think of lyrically. I think of, like you said, impact. The influence, the all that is. You might have a certain influence when it comes to a younger crowd, but it's the classic people are going to touch the younger generation and these older generations. But you don't think that, and again, you don't think that you could say, now if you're basing it off impact, because I was just basing it off of really like skill and everything. That's but, what I mean. But yeah. impact-wise, I mean, for the last however many years, they set up for what it was going to be. You don't think so? What you mean? Like, well, as in the, the whole mumble rapper... Just the whole Atlanta wave that we've been seeing since that time, they've kind of set up. I know you got Gucci. I know you got Jeezy. I know you got other niggas. You know, it's a lot but, of Atlanta rappers. You but do you get what I'm that. saying? Like, mainstream really hitting. Like, he, they came. Then after him, it was Thug. Then you got Gunna. You got, you got other people, too. But I'm just saying, niggas that really went mainstream, like, before Migos, who really... Did it with that sound? Are they really? But I don't think nobody else sound like the Migos. I think the Migos has a unique sound. I don't know no okay. rappers that really sound like them. I think that's what made the Migos the Migos. You can tell when they get on the track that it's them. I don't hear none of these dudes. I don't. I don't know, man. I can't. You I can't really say. listen to Atlanta rap. You you Who? you got a point. I though. listen to Atlanta rap. I listen to Lil Baby. I listen to Ti. I listen to Gucci. I listen to Jeezy. I, I mean, like the, up, like the up and coming, up and coming scene. Who, who else? I, I who else from all Atlanta? You got, like you got Thug. Who else? You got. You said you got. They were saying Thug was trying to sound like Rich Homie. So is he trying to sound like them, or is he trying to sound like Rich Homie Quan? Yeah, was Rich forgot about Rich, was Rich Homie, Homie yeah, Quan yeah. booming before them niggas? He nah. was, wasn't he? Nah. Rich Homie. What year Rich I, Homie? Man, Rich came Homie was booming nah, before them. I'm telling you, I think they that, came uh, out. They don't know and all that shit. What year did that come out? You talking about? I'm telling when him and Thug was like a duo. That was like 2015, probably. Even before that, Rich, 20, Hummy, Rich Hummy was cracking for a minute. When, what, what year did my nigga come out? My like, nigga, like, my probably nigga. Like 20, uh, what about uh, that's facts, but why first, first name, last name? This nigga Jay Money. Jay Money. Shout out Jay Money. Jay Money was on some shit back Jay then. Jay Money had one hit. Yeah, but Rich, Rich Homie is name. a nigga that was booming out there. If he's from Atlanta. 2014 it came out. Yeah, yeah I know. And what year Migos came out? That, young Rich Niggas was 2013. 13? That's what I'm saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. Though. Rich Homie was popping before that. He had a whole run before that song. He just got on that song with YG. But Rich Homie Quan, let mm. me see. I, I promise to never you, stop going you're in. Probably right, because they out? got they got mixtape runs too. That cool. I get what you're saying. That that and that that's big in Atlanta as well. The whole mixtape scene nah, where like he niggas was a, going crazy. He, he was one of the biggest. No, 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 for sure, time. for sure. But I I just think, you know what? They might have created that sound. They dude. did. What I'm saying? I don't know. I, I always think of them and Young Thug. Nah. I kind of grouped them and, and the damn near why, together. The reason why we do is because Young Thug just surpassed them niggas so much. Like when Amigos came out, it was crazy, but they only went crazy for a couple years because Atlanta had like 
a new nigga every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that time, Atlanta from was like, running the game for from a minute. like twenty for a minute. thirteen or whatever. So it was like Migos, we cool off then. We on Thug now. Oh, Thug. Now we on Gunner. Now we on whoever else. So it's like I didn't really pay I, attention. I, I to promise him. to never stop going in. Came out twenty thirteen. See, so they was you right. He had a buzz yeah. before about, about around the same, same time. time. Yeah, yeah. But he. So that that was like the sound, like how the West. Or, D- or Detroit or whatever, that region has that sound. Mm. I think that was just the sound of the region, but they just pop. But even then, when so we talk about I'm gangster music, in. we talk about NWA, right? Like, I don't think that they did they necessarily create the sound, but they made it pop. So that's the people we coin with it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and I they, think they, they made the sound. You think they made the sound? Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. they made the sound. Just like, like G-Funk. Dre. Yeah. We don't get our credit. Long Beach made G-Funk. Pop. When you think of G-Funk, all the hits, you're coming to the city, bro. You're coming to Nate Dog. You're mm. coming to DPG. and then, Like, you're coming to the city. You're coming to Warren G. We don't get our credit, though. When you say West Coast, you low-key talking about Long Beach, bro. Just think about all them hits that was cracking and carrying the 90s. It's a lot. It was coming out of the city. Or it was attached or to the was city connected to in it. some yeah. way, shape, form, or fashion, bro. Facts. We are the only city who got a real anthem that's respected go- globally. Summertime in the LBC. That shit, that's a slap. Too. Point blank, period. <laughs> that's a time stamp in history. I don't care what year it is. You can throw that on. I don't care what city you from, what town you from. That shit going to bang, and you going to sing that shit. Period. Shout out Long Beach. Shout out my city. But back <laughs> yeah, to the nah, Shout out to Long Beach. No, nah, nah, that's facts, though, because for real, like, niggas be hating on the city, but all that shit y'all was crib walking to, you still turning on it's the day, shit. was Long Beach music. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever y'all was doing. Any, all them house parties and all that shit, you turned on the east side as you turned on a lot of that shit, and these niggas are still slapping that to this day. Shout out to Long Beach. Shout out to the east side. Shout out to every artist from the city. Long Beach. We in this yeah. bitch. Hey, shout out to Migos, too, though, because... Man, now that I'm thinking about it, bro, they they did. What's the sound no y'all talking about? Stamp, though. Just that sound. It yeah. ain't, you can't even describe it. Just when that shit come on, it's like that's me going. Another thing was like the whole um the mumble shit. And like the whole like Quavo say something, somebody say something in the background and come out of nowhere. The whole ad lib. Even though there was ad libs before, in that fashion, rappers started doing that heavy after them as oh, well. Oh, the way the way they do it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, that's what people coining with. So I mean, I don't know no rappers that really sound. I don't like them. think they're like, better. I'm, than I'm trying to think, but I, yeah. I just think when you go to Atlanta, anything you turn on is damn. They're gonna sound like them niggas. It's like though. It's like with Gucci Mane, right? Like nobody really sound like that nigga, but everybody like Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane. They just think they say he's the the goat, even though. I don't see necessarily what sound he influenced. I ain't in never heard that one. I okay. hear that all the time. You get what I'm saying? I, from from I, niggas I in Atlanta. Put, niggas in Atlanta say that. I never put him over Jeezy. Yeah, I mean, Jeezy I mean, was either. always better than Gucci to me. Even though Gucci was hot at one point, it was everything got repetitive to where it was like, all right, this nigga put out a, a million <laughs> mixtapes and it might have one or two bangers. Like it wasn't like classic mixtape where I'm playing that shit all the way through, like some Jeezy shit. I'm playing that shit all the way through, damn near. Now that's facts. Shout out to Migos, though. 